All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, hello, everyone. Chevy Gun, how you doing, baby? Ooh, speaking of baby, how are you doing, beautiful? All right, today. Hello. How are you doing? All right, come on up, come on up. Oh, we got we got some audience members here. What's up? What's up, Chevy? You know what? I gotta. Let me see real quick. Let me see. Cause I've been looking for you. Bam. Just drop the follow, buddy. Just drop the follow. Let me get out of there. How is everyone doing? Right back at you, love. All right, so today, we're going to have some fun today. Today, we're going to talk about how to go pro without a GoPro. So, as you guys know, I love film. Love film. And um, we do film all around the world. Um, the, the main point of it is we want to show a behind the scenes or like a, we want to document what we do around the world. Because we do do a lot of crazy stuff. So we've created our own reality show. Now, on that reality show, it's unscripted. Uh, we don't say reality just, you know, just to be cute. It's, it's legit reality. And um, so to do that, you kind of have to film a specific way. So first of all, before we get into that nonsense, how are you guys doing? You guys know me. I'm very interactive. I'm not a talking head. Where do we have, uh, where do we have viewers from today? Where are you guys around the world? Where are you guys? I am shooting live from muggy Miami, Florida. So that's that. No, really? Congrats, Gabby. And you tired, Chevy? Come on, buddy. I'm going to amp you up. Toronto, shout out to Annapolis, Philly. What's up, JJ? All right, we're going to rock this. Okay, so you guys are familiar with GoPros, right? Okay, if you guys aren't familiar with GoPros, don't worry. I'm, I'm here to help. This is a GoPro. And, um, I mean, they are great. I love them. In fact, we have our own kit for them. Let's see what's in the magic box. You guys ready? Shout out to LA. Oh, I saw you earlier, buddy. You're the Uber driver, man. What's up? So, this is our GoPro case. This is how we go pro. And actually, some of our GoPros are not here. They're in use right now. But, um, you know, we have all the stuff. And GoPros are great action cameras, okay? Because, I mean, they're, they're small. They give great quality. And then you have all these different... What's up, buddy? You have all these different casings. You can use them underwater. I mean, they are great cameras. Don't get me wrong. And then they come with a lot of accessories. So, I mean, you got everything from suction cups to... Uh, you can put them on vehicles. You can do anything you want. So... GoPros are great. We enjoy them and we use them a lot. But they're not really for your average consumer. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Um, GoPros are, are a little pricey, but they're usually for action sports, okay? Now, let's say you're not a professional snowboarder or you don't jump out of planes on a regular. There's something else you can do. See, there's a camera on the market called the HTC Re. This is the HTC Re. It looks like, uh, well, ironically, it looks like a periscope. But um, these little guys are sick. Why are they sick? First of all, you see how small they are. That's the lens right there. These little guys are so inconspicuous. Why is this important? Remember I was talking about how we shoot a reality show? The basis of it is that we shoot reality. And in some real situations, you kind of got to be you know, conspicuous. You kind of got to not shove a camera down someone's face. So these babies, hey, how you doing, Lisa? These babies are sexy. This is why. Not only do they shoot in 1080, you can do time lapses with them. You can do photos with them. Look, everybody look at the camera. Ready? On three, everybody say cheese, okay? One, two, three. I just took a photo of you. I'll upload it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I'll tag you. Now, why are they awesome? Because you can pick them up for 130 bucks at Best Buy. Uh, I've, I've heard that you can also um, do a, you, you can get a few cheaper at, I think, I, I, I was told that you can get it through AT&T. Don't cite me on that. I was just told that. Check it out, though. Um, but those little things are awesome. You can connect them to your phone, so you can control them on your phone, much like the GoPro. And they're also waterproof. 
two, three meters. So once again, if you're not into action sports or you don't go scuba diving every Friday, this thing would be perfect for you. If you're chilling in a hot tub like Chevy Gun does, or if you want to get some interesting rain shots because your movie slash whatever needs some rain shots, do they have an app for that? They do have an app for that. You just, when you get this, it's a free app, it's called the HTC RE, R-E, and you download their app, everything's free, you can connect to it, you can save photos, videos to your phone, the thing is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. So, yes, these bad boys are sick, you'll get a lot of stuff done with these, however, that may not be for everyone, and gear is not really important, I, I like to tell people that it's, you can, I, I've seen movies film with an iPhone. I've, I've seen my first camera. I'll tell you this, okay? I love film. Love it with a passion. My first ever camera. Now, don't get jealous. It was pretty high-end. An iPod Nano. This thing was this big, and it had probably um, one-third the uh, camera on your phone that you're watching right now. It was, it was just, it was bad. But I still filmed with it. Hey, I mean, what are you gonna do? So, I had a blast with it. But when, you, when you're constricted by gear, if you don't have you know, a drone or if you don't have a GoPro or whatever, be creative. I mean, the whole thing about film is storytelling. So what can you tell with what you got? So never let gear hold you back. Yeah, man, it doesn't even matter. But um, so I wanted to share that with you guys today because you can GoPro without a GoPro. I mean, you can pick up a GoPro for probably what? Three to four hundred bucks, maybe two fifty to four hundred bucks, depending on what you want. The GoPro 4 came out recently. Six specs. Six specs. Not a huge jump, in my opinion, from the Hero 3. But I mean, you know, in general, great camera. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. If you guys got any questions for me, thank you for the love, guys. I love the hearts. If you guys got any questions for me, please ask. Um, film is my passion, and I'm very interactive. So, comment. Touch screen, though. The, the GoPros do have a touch screen. They have a, that bad boy right there, it does have a touch screen that you can go through it. But, and that's another thing that a lot of people were telling me, that you look at this camera, and the first thing you say is, what kind of business do you do? I'll tell you in one moment, buddy. Um, I did watch you, yes, it's because you're fun to watch. This camera has no screen, okay? Now, there's two reasons for this. One, they have an app, so you can use the app. Two, people are too busy about what they look like or what they're filming. This has a huge wide angle on it. I think it's 160 degrees. Once you get used to it, you don't need a, a screen to be looking at what you watch. I mean, if you go to our reality show at www.boa.tv, if uh, one of you guys are out there, can you type that up so people can find it? Boa.tv, you'll find our reality show, Welcome to the Family. And we use a myriad of cameras for the show. However, this gets us in some places that maybe others don't. And you can tell that there is no quality diminishing. What kind of battery does it use? Right under here, if you look, there's a little port right there, you see? It is a, um, that's not a micro, that's a mini port. No, it is a micro. You throw it into your computer, you charge it, that's it. There's no batteries you gotta take out. Also, that's where you can pull footage from. You see right there, you have a little quarter inch threading right there, so you can put it on a tripod, you can put it on a selfie stick, whatever, whatever your thing is. Um, and then right there would be where the chip is located, which you never really have to take out. It's a little micro SD card, probably the one that's in your phone right now, and you never have to take it out. You could if you want, but you plug it into your computer, you can pull from there, super easy. So someone um, asked me recently, um, two minutes ago, they commented, what do I do? So if you're just tuning in now, my name is LJ, and I'm the film coordinator here at Boa Studios, and what we do is two main things. Why is your picture choppy? I don't know, maybe it's just uh, the bag signal, signal over here. So we do two main things. We do seminars, which we empower and we motivate people all around the world. Everything from corporate America to children, that's our nonprofit aspect. That's, that's how we give back. And then we have the film part. The film part documents what we do around the world and how we change people's lives. A lot of people see us on stage and they're like, that is awesome. But there's no way you live like that. There's no way you practice what you preach. 
And the speaker that we represent, Bert Oliva, we do some crazy stuff on stage. He has people walk on glass, eat fire. You know, if you can do stuff like that, what can't you do? So that's just very uh, a glimpse at what we do. So we like to give a behind the scenes of our lifestyle to show not only do we practice what we're sharing with people. Yes, we're all entrepreneurs. But um, you, we actually go out there and we show you the behind the scenes. We show you how we get deals done. We show you what we do to, to get certain events. And so we're a, we, we hold no bars back or it's just it's unscripted, completely unscripted. So that is what we do. And then I just mesh what I love with what we do. And I haven't really worked for five years. And I love it. I love it. So if you guys have any questions for me um, regarding film, cameras, what to do with them. Thank you, buddy. Are you in the New York area? Not right now, but uh, we do go there a lot for different stuff. But um, what do you do, buddy? Are you in the New York area? And uh, yeah, we are based out of Miami right now. So Miami, Florida, when we're not traveling. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys got any more questions, I'm here. I'm open ears for you. But I wanted to share that with you, that these little cameras, look them up, HTC Re, R-E.